This is so pretty, my gosh. Really? Look at that, all the separated formula. This feels very cheap. I hate this now. Almost my MLBB shed. Shine like a diamond. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm very sorry for the noise. Anyway, this is your Shubhanki. In today's video, you guys know by the title of course, I'm gonna review some new MyGlam product. A lot of you guys keep asking me for the newly launched MyGlam BB cream review. Hence, I thought, you know, I have a lot of other MyGlam products also lying around. So why not just combine everything and do a video about it? Because it's a long requested video. So yeah, let's get started. You guys know the drill, like, share, comment, subscribe. Oh, oh, this is the tray for today. Yeah, overflowing with makeup. And and let's go. My skin is fully prepped. First, I have, of course, everybody's request, which is da 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 da. Look at that. So pretty. Not gonna lie. The first thing that attracted me is this golden packaging. It gives a freaking luxe feeling. And also, the price point is so affordable. So, this is a very new launch. I think it's from their serum range. It's called My Glam Super Serum BB Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. It's SPF 50 and PA three pluses it came around the time when maybelline fresh tint came so i'm planning to do a comparison video between them as well let me know if you want it or not it riddles for 249 rupees for 15 grams of product and i have the shade 201 pine and they have only two shades which is ridiculous Ta -da! 10 on 10 for the packaging okay <laughs> it looks super pretty i'm not gonna lie but the main thing is quality so let's test it out what are the claims do they have by the way let's see okay they do not have any sort of claims and also don't use this as a sunscreen <laughs> you can use that added protection but not as an only sunscreen okay the amount you need to actually protect you like a sunscreen from this baby cream will be ridiculous okay that being said let's let's apply here okay 201 fine but the thing is this is like a cream consistency soft cream consistency but it's a cream why do they have a super serum in their title i mean it looks pretty good let's just apply directly without anything okay it blended nicely with fingers um let's actually apply this first i'm gonna color correct and come back okay color correct is on i generally do two dots like this if i need more i'm gonna apply more but uh, let's start with this i'm gonna spread it all over my face now this is how you should blend don't just go directly with the brush because you don't blend properly you need to spread evenly all over your face that is enough let's blend tap 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 I do like a little more uh, runny consistency for my base products like foundation mainly but it's fine it's blending okay actually not like seamless the most seamless finish I've ever gotten through my BB creams no never not even near to that it blended beautifully on my forehead which is like the best part of my skin <laughs> that sounded so bad I mean the forehead is my skin goals I have the least amount of texture so that's why a lot of bad foundation also works out well on my forehead it's a little a tiny bit it is flaking out and around my cheek it looks a little dry though I did all my four steps of skincare primer you know hydrating everything but it's lightweight I do feel nothing actually so I, if I tap tap the product it's helping more also what about the shade match I think I like the shade that I have chosen for myself it's kind of near to my skin tone uh, okay let's blend with you guys I know my skin is not the most flawless one but I think that makes all the more appropriate to try out different different base products because if any base product works out on my skin <laughs> it is going to work out for sure it's going to work out for you okay <laughs> it's it's really difficult I have like gin chun ke few products that works for me all season flawlessly I also have created videos about that my top 5 foundation BB cream Okay, the coverage is medium. I like the coverage, though it did not. Can you see that it did not cover my color correctors fully because I can see all the orange color correctors everywhere. So it's like medium coverage. Yeah, it's not sheer as well because a lot of my dark spots are almost gone. It gives a satin finish actually, not matte, not glowy. Uh, but I do see a couple of areas where it still uh, looks a little dry and separated, like especially around here. Basically all my dry spots around here and here, it looks a little bad. But let's see if I powder it, it can go away as well but you know what i'm not like whoa impressed no not so it's like okay i see you have a baby cream okay it's like that vibe right now it feels hydrating because of the hyaluronic acid and it's lightweight i feel nothing actually and if you have a little bit of texture or dry skin or acne i think you will face the same problem like over here it's like a little separated mm, like right over here not gonna lie it feels average i have also said that in my reels video where i first tried this product on now also to be fair i almost have a love-hate relationship with my glam products in general because some of the products are 
are like super hit my go to products and some are like major fail so on an average it's like up or down so and also i feel like my glam products in general is like not worth the price that they ask you to pay oh my god you, you can get good products at even half the price why would you go for my glam you know so i always say that if you want to try my glam go to it it's not bad but the number one rule is that you have to get at least 50% off otherwise you are paying too much let's be honest okay <laughs> i do want to build up a little bit and see whether it's buildable or not the coverage so i'm going to use it as a concealer as well they do not have any claims such as long lasting eight hours creaseless no claims like that so that's why all the more i'm like disappointed like they do not have confidence for their own product ah. i feel like it gives me that feeling <laughs> let's blend i applied way too much as a concealer i never apply this much it's weird the consistency is weird not going to lie and also it takes a little more time to blend it's not the best quality quality yeah the blending experience is also not nice as well as can you see all the tricks all the textures it gave me textures that i don't have <laughs> i have to blend way too much who has this much of time okay that you shouldn't come to the frame curtain Back. yeah it's not blending on my eyelids oh my god what is happening Wow, really? Really? Look at that all the separated formula. Can you see that? Do you see all the dot 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 dot? Everything is separated. I hate this now. Do you see how much time it takes to blend? And also it's not flawless. It's giving me crusty musty dusty, not going to lie right now. Like oh my god, look at that. Look at that. All the things are separating. <laughs> it's a mess. I have to apply concealer again on my eyelids to fix this mess. Wow, look at how it's separating. Feeling off actually. Ridiculously bad. Let me apply my concealer. If I try to blend, the product is coming off. The foundation, can you see literally it's coming off? Oh my god, what is this? This is so bad. Uh <laughs> also this shade fine oxidized heavily. I don't know. I think couple of shades darker it got, but definitely not the shade that I applied. Oh yes, concealers base product should blend like this. How flawless is this? Can you see that? Not like the one before. What was that? <laughs> a literal nightmare. If you are wondering, I use the Swiss Beauty concealer. Okay, so I did a little bit of cream everything. You can see a lot of shiny spots that I need to set, which I'm going to do with this one. Now this is a My Glam's HD setting spray. A lot of you guys asked me for my opinion, and look at that. I hit pan, which basically means I like the powder. But you have to understand, this is a very fine powder, and hence sets light makeup. If you do like a full bit, full face. of glam a lot of layers of cream and everything it can't set that well but i love the fact that when it sets it makes everything flawless that's why i use it a lot in summer when i actually apply less makeup light makeup so let's set this whole area with this powder taking the sponge and i'm going to take a little bit like this it's not a loose powder by the way i generally use this powder when i'm only wearing concealer uh, that to a light layer it looks matte but it doesn't feel dry also it looks flawless so that's why i like it this is a really good one for light setting it's not like the most beautiful powder ever no but it's like kind of good so yeah here's what my face looks like now since the actual base product is not good it was horrible honestly that's why after powdering making it flawless seamless still i can see a lot of crustiness like a lot of crustiness can you see the mess over here Wow, I can't go out like this. There's a lot here as well. So the BB cream though is not Shubu approved at all. <laughs> Now this product I already reviewed it. It's the Blush Duo. I do like it because it's very fine again and very seamless. It's very pretty, but it's like not highly pigmented. It's like medium pigment, which is great as well. I like it. I do not use it. It's because of the colors, the choice of colors. If you know me, these are not my favorite blush shades. I prefer a pink and peach blush, but this is really good for deep skin. This will really complement them. But today I'm gonna use. it let's just mix both and use yeah can you see that it's pigmented it's a matte blush honestly i prefer matte blushes more than anything yeah love the blush honestly but the main problem is i cannot look past how crusty this portion of my face looks okay so i'm done with my base makeup now i have only two products two products left which are very interesting product one for the lip and one for the eyes now let's start with the fun one the glitter one <laughs> so i have this product right over here so this is called my glam's lip and eye sparkles <laughs> before even talking about this one let me tell you this should get a price for being the most messiest 
product ever yeah. because wherever I store, however I store it, the most ideal condition also fails for this. I think the packaging is very not appropriate to store sparkles in them. So this is the product. Looks so pretty. Look at that. Look at that. It's so pretty, but it's very messy. In fact, my hands became glittery. Look at the freaking box everywhere. It's shimmy, 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 shimmy. <laughs> the glitters, the sparkles are very fine. Okay, it's not chunky. You can see it, but it, you can't feel it on your eye. This is so lightweight. I have the shade Crown Jewels with me, and it retails for four forty-five rupees. Wow for 1.1 grams of product. I think from 1.1 gram, 0.5 grams will fly away because of this packaging. Let's just use it. Now, since they are just loose glitters, no bonding or no glue in them, I'm gonna use a flat brush and spray some setting spray on it to make it wet so that the glitters can stick on the brush and also a little on my eyes like tiny bit you know to make the glitter stick now i'm gonna open this freaking mess there will be glittery volcanic eruptions oh my god look at that look at the mess i'm gonna use the cap only because there's so much here this is so pretty let me just stamp on the plot wow this is very fine uh, and blinding to be honest i don't have any other loose glitters in my collection only this one so i don't know like is it this messy with every brand's loose glitters i don't know that if that's the case then it's like it's okay but if not uh -huh. you have to be cautious about storing it there should not be any sort of jar otherwise it start leaking out this is pretty <laughs> not going to lie again a little more i can do my full eyes with what's on the cap i feel like this just elevated the whole eye look so much love it literally i really like the product I don't see anything bad about this product. Let's just apply here a little bit. Also, the color is so pretty. It's literally jewels. Again, a little more. And boom. Wow, I love this. This is a really great product. I'm so happy that I got it. This is super euphoria, but make it royal. Look, this is so pretty, my gosh. Look at the sun hitting it and making it even more prettier. Wow. Can you see that? The glitters are so fine. You can't even see it separately. It looks like a freaking one blended thing. It looks really good quality glitters to be honest. Oh, I love it. This is so cute. I'm gonna apply a little on my waterline. Okay, I think I like the eye look today. Shimmy, shimmy, eye, shimmy, eye, shimmy. Okay, I love this. <laughs> the mess. Uh, I don't have any answer to that. Ah. I'm dumb. <laughs> I should have done the glitter eyes before doing my base. I should have started with glitter eyes because look at the fallout. It is so difficult to take off glitters and you have to be very careful with loose glitters to be honest because you will get fallout. These are loose pigments. Okay, that is done but you can see tiny tiny glitters still there which won't come off. The major chunk is gone though. Yeah, a tiny little lesson you should learn from me, from my mistakes, okay? <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the last product, which is a lip set. A lot affordable. Did you guys notice that I have talked about affordable MyGlam products as well as a little medium-ish expensive MyGlam product so that it, it caters to all of you guys? Anyway, let's talk about ta -ra 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 -ra. Yes, so this is called Feeling Peachy. Who's that? Of course, me. <laughs> so this is PopXO MyGlam collaboration, Feeling Peachy mini lip kit, bullet lipstick, three lipsticks uh, together as a set. Now, they also have this thing for glow and I do think they have it for liquid lipstick as well but I have the bullet one I went for this three shed it returns for 349 rupees for 2.5 grams of each lipsticks okay so we have three lipsticks but you can see one is missing because mommy took it okay uh, I don't have it right now but I'm gonna put it up a clip where I have used all the three shades so that you can see what is this missing person's color <laughs> I'll use this too by the way these are cardboard packagings now I have with me sugar baby and finsta I don't have the red one went viral with me so let me tell you before even talking about this products this feels very cheap the packaging it's like very can you hear it it's very loose it feels so cheap that if it falls it will crack it's that thin of a plastic packaging anyway let's try on sugar baby it's a burnt brown shed so this is the shed sugar baby it's not the most pigmented it's very softly pigmented to be honest let's try on also, they do not have any claims on their packaging. None of them does, by the way, which is a very big concern. This is very tiny, smaller than my pinky finger. Actually, this is not very pigmented. I have to go with so many layers to make it opaque. So this is the color, soft pigmented, as you can see. You can see my lip pigmentation also through this dark color. So it's like softly pigmented. Now, they do not have any claims, but I can, you know, test the transfer test. I have this on for like one minute now. Let's see. Okay, it's not transfer proof, but very little came out. But also, it faded as well a lot. So the pigmentation will go away if you eat something. Everything will wipe off, so it's not long-lasting at all. 
so yeah fading with each transfer but fading evenly that's great also it feels lightweight it feels like nothing actually it's not super matte the finish is pretty i feel like you can get a lot of better options that's now available uh, with this price so i'm not the most impressed but i feel like it's not a fail fail anyway let's apply this shade called finsta this is what the shade looks like super pretty it's it's brown but it's like pinky brown i love this sort of shade this is the color it's like almost my mlbb shade yeah exactly that can you see i apply the lipstick but it doesn't look like i have anything on so this is finsta gosh i love the color actually i have to get a really good lipstick transfer proof lipstick with this freaking shade i love this lipstick color i mean the shade not the quality okay <laughs> but yeah this is what the color looks like it's so pretty it's also a very summer color daytime color you can wear this and run errands nobody will understand shit you know picking up groceries you can wear this lipstick it's a very soft girl aesthetic wala color anyway so this is it and this is what my makeup looks like today not the best to be honest i'm not impressed by my base i actually really like the glitter but the thing is i don't apply glitter when i go out unless like it's a wedding invitation or very special occasions or even new year's eve i don't generally wear glitters so is it appropriate though but that's for you to judge <laughs> anyway these are all the product you know it's time to be a juggly little auntie let's go yes we are wearing the slip color on and of course i have the tray right here let's begin the first product the bb cream it was a mess not going to lie and because of that also still it looks very crusty very heavy doesn't feel heavy but looks like i've applied tons of makeup that's why it's drying up you know becoming cakey like look at my under eyes yeah it's a mess all together i am going to rate it 1.5 only for the packaging i'm going to give it two but other than that don't buy it next up i have this baking powder i mean setting powder i think i'm going to rate it 3 because it does some kind of setting but it also doesn't when i have full face of makeup on it's a very light powder if you like a light one you can go ahead next product is i think the most favorite product of today's video the glitter the sparkles fairy dust <laughs> my glam's lip and eye sparkles yeah you can use it as a glitter lip as well okay very versatile you know what though it, it's a little unrealistic to have a glitter to buy a glitter i know but and also it's very messy to store it but i love the quality of the product like look at my eyes it's like shine like a diamond it's like that so that's how i'm gonna rate it for yeah okay so the last product are these lipsticks it's like an average lipstick i'm gonna rate it like 2.5 okay i i do see you have this but what about it what about it <laughs> so yeah that's about it that's my final views on these my glam products so yay we are at the final stage of today's video did you have fun did you freaking have fun in today's hangout session comment down below i would love to know okay <laughs> anyway i'm gonna link the products just to have a look okay like share comment subscribe don't forget that i'm gonna go now i'll meet you guys in my next video and then be happy and bye I devour you like I'm crying over you. Run into my mind, girl, all of my need. Don't know why you are always on my mind, on my mind like every other time.